All right, let's do an example of composition. Example one, given f of x is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to x squared plus four, find each of the following. In part a, we are looking for f composed with g, or which is the same thing as f of g, and its domain. All right, so make sure you understand if you see something like this, as soon as you see that little circle in, in the middle, that indicates that this is a composition problem. Okay, so immediately you want to write down f of g of x. Okay, this is the easier way to think about the composition problem. Okay, so remember what composition is. We are plugging a function into a function. Okay, so the question is, are we plugging f into g or g into f, okay? So first we need to realize who's who here, okay? So if you notice, f is on the outside and g is on the inside, okay? So I'm just gonna write this out to the side. Um, f is considered to be the outside function and g is the inside function because it's inside the parentheses. Okay, and when we do this, we always plug the inside function into the outside function. Okay, so I'm going to write that up here. We always plug the inside function into the outside function. Okay, um, reason being, if you think back to just working with a function and plugging in a number, okay, so if we go back to this little example that I made up um, on the first page, um, so if we had this function and then you wanted to find f of zero, whatever's in parentheses, that's what you're plugging in to um, the function or plug it into f in this case, okay? So again, whatever's on the inside, that's what you're plugging in. So it's the same kind of idea, okay, as plugging in a number. All right, so we're gonna be, in this case, we're gonna be plugging the function g into the function f, okay? So this is what we're gonna do to, to get this done. And you know, like I said, you've more than likely seen this before and you may have your own little way of doing it and that's fine. This is what I do, okay? I look at it, at it and I say, okay, I am plugging in to the function f. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write down the function f because that's the one I'm plugging into, okay? So remember, whatever's in, in parentheses, that's what you're plugging in for x, okay? So wherever you see an x and I circle it, we are going to be replacing it with g of x, okay? So g of x is x squared plus four. Okay, so this will become, okay, and the circle kind of helps, especially uh, it helps you see where you need parentheses, okay? Instead of squaring x, we're gonna be squaring the entire quantity x squared plus four, okay? So whatever's in, um, print, or whatever's in the circle, okay, you need parentheses around that, okay? So this whole quantity is getting squared, okay? So that is the composite function, the entire quantity x squared plus four, you're squaring that, okay? Um, so we do have to simplify these composite functions, okay? So we have formed the function, so let's go ahead and simplify it, okay? So let me write this again. All right, this is the same thing as multiplying it by itself, okay, if you square something, okay? So, well, hold on, I don't need to do that. Um, so you're going to have to either foil it or box it because remember you're multiplying it by itself. Okay, so here I'll put this once we simplify it. Okay, so I'm going to, you guys know I like to box things. Okay, so we're going to do x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 4. Okay, get rid of this. I don't need this. All right, so let me make my little box. Okay, so x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, and then x squared times four is four x squared. 
and then four times x squared is another four x squared, and then four times four is 16, okay? So let's see how I can do this. Let's try to block this off a little bit. Okay, so if I simplified this, uh, multiplied it out, okay, you're gonna get the four terms, x to the fourth plus four x squared plus four x squared plus 16, and then you can combine like terms. So the composite function is going to be x to the fourth plus eight x squared plus 16, okay? So that is your answer, okay? Um, you know, I would accept this, okay? This is equivalent, okay? But if you are asked to simplify, you should probably multiply it out, okay? All right, so that's the composite function. Remember, we just took f and g, we composed them to make a new function, okay? So you're also asked for the domain of this composite function, okay? Um, and remember, you started with f and g. Both of these are polynomials. There is no division. There's no square roots. So for f and g, you can plug in anything you want, okay? And when we compose them, we get another polynomial, okay? So the domain of this guy is going to be all real numbers, okay? So if you're working with polynomials, okay, if you start with two polynomials and you compose them, you're going to get another polynomial, okay? So for example, one, the domain is pretty straightforward, okay? I did tell you um, when we talked about the definition of a composite function that the domain of a composite function can get a little tricky. Um, that's, you're going to start seeing that in example two, okay? But if you're dealing with just polynomials, it won't be a problem. If you take two polynomials and compose them, you will get another polynomial. So the domain will be all real numbers. All right, example B. Okay, so now we're gonna do the composition in the other direction. So we're gonna do G of F. So remember, um, most of the time, F of G will not be the same as G of F. It is possible for them to be equal, but usually they're not. Okay, so we're gonna form that function and find its domain. Okay, so this time, we're gonna, as soon as you see this, you're gonna write down G of F of X. Okay, so now you're plugging F into G. Okay, so in this case, g is the outside function, and f is the inside function, and it is always the case that we are plugging the inside function into the outside function, okay? So again, what I do is, since I'm plugging into g, what I'm going to do is write down the formula for G, okay, and my input to this will be the function f of x. So everywhere I see an x, and I'm going to circle just the x, not the x squared, just the x, everywhere I see an x, scratch out the x, I'm going to replace it with f of x, okay, f of x is x squared, okay. So again, think of that circle as parentheses, this is going to be x squared that is now going to be squared plus four, okay? So if we simplify this, okay? Um, remember, this is x squared squared, so you're multiplying it by itself, okay? So remember, this is, you know, x times x times x times x, so you're gonna end up with x to the fourth plus four, okay? That is your new function, okay? And the domain here, okay, again, you ended up with a polynomial, Okay, so the domain of this guy is all real numbers. Okay, so that one wasn't too bad. Okay, let's look at part C. Okay, so part C is asking us to do F composed with F. Okay, so it's possible you can compose a function with itself. Okay, so I'm just, since I've scooted the paper up, I'm just going to write out to the side F of X is X squared. Okay. All right, so that's f of x. So immediately, you're going to write down f of f of x, okay? So you're plugging f into f, okay? So again, what I do is since f is the function I'm plugging into, I'm going to write it down, okay? So that's f of x, okay? But I need to plug in f of x. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to circle the x, scratch it out, I'm gonna replace it with this inside function because that's my new input, which is x squared, 
Okay, so this is going to become, again, think of the circle as parentheses. We're going to get x squared inside the circle. That is squared by the square on the outside. Okay, so the composite function is x to the fourth. That's it. Okay, so not bad. All right. Again, we got another polynomial as our result. So the domain of f composed with f is all real numbers.